in my next stage of life. If you guys catch my drift, do you have a name if it's a girl? Hi loves, it's Emmeline. So today we're gonna do a sit down video. It's been so long since I updated you guys. Oh my goodness, I don't even have my ring on, hold on. I can't start this video without my ring. Okay, much better. So today's sit down video, I'm pretty sure the last time I did one of these was probably when I got engaged and now I'm married, we're in a house. So um, you guys have so many of the same questions, so I kind of just wanted to make one video to get these all out of the way. So let's get started. You guys are currently getting a little sneak peek of our bathroom behind me. That video will probably be coming out soon on my second channel, but let's get started. My favorite Audrey Hepburn movie is probably Love in the Afternoon, but I also do like um, Roman Holiday, My Fair Lady. That was the first movie I actually ever saw of hers was My Fair Lady when I was super young. And Breakfast at Tiffany's is a classic. I just feel like I've seen it so many times and I have to kind of be in the mood for it, but I love that movie too. I recently made a Spotify and made a vintage playlist for you guys, so you can check that out. I'll link it down below. Um, to be honest with you guys, my favorite vintage music is Christmas, so I think I'm going to make a vintage Christmas playlist. I know it's super early, but I listen to Christmas music all year round, and it just makes me so happy, and it's my favorite type of vintage music. I think the songs are just amazing, and... That's what I like, so I'll definitely make one of those too. This is probably the second most asked question, which is how I edit my pictures. I use the Aspen Ovard filters. Her filters are amazing, or her presets rather. They're so good. Um, they are like very specific, so I do tone them down a ton um, to kind of look slightly more natural because sometimes like it can make the grass look really dull or make your skin look really bright so I try to change the colors up a little bit but that's what I use. I got so many questions about the house and if you guys didn't know I have a second channel that I recently made that is devoted to the house so we got a fixer upper and we decided to flip the whole house and we've been documenting the whole process and I've been showing you guys like the makeovers of, makeovers of everything, tearing down walls, all that kind of fun stuff. So that is on my second channel, which I'll leave the link for that down below. And I'm actually, after I film this video, I'm gonna film a video for that channel, specifically talking about all of the money, the financing, and all of the specifics of buying a house and flipping a house and everything that goes into it. So if that video is not up by the time you guys are watching this, it will probably be up in like a few hours or something like that. So just keep an eye out for that video if you guys want all that information. Well, I will answer this because I got this a ton, was if um, we're actually going to stay in this house forever or if we're planning on moving. And this is definitely not our forever house. Um, I'll talk about this more on the other channel but we kind of bought this house with the mindset of flipping it making money on it taking that money and then investing it into either another flip house or into our dream house um we have a very like specific house that we want and we're very excited about it whether we build it or we try to buy it and flip it to be what we want um that's definitely going to come in the future i have a ton of favorite bible verses but one that has probably always been my go-to has been you are altogether beautiful my darling there is no blemish in you i think it's just a really pretty verse i always have loved the word darling like calling people darling so i remember hearing that i loved it and i think it's so true that you what are you willing no 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 I just heard Wilbur like chomping on something and he just ate a piece of paper. This dog is literally like a forever puppy. He never grows out of the little puppy phase of eating everything. Wilbur, what did you do that for? And I'm gonna have to hold you. Um, but anyway, I have always loved that verse because I feel like it's so true. I think a lot of us can be really hard on ourselves. And we kind of have to remember that God made us in his perfect image and there is no blemish in us and we are all perfect and beautiful. My favorite Christian podcast, I'm sure it's no surprise because I've talked about it a ton, is from Transformation Church. They have a series called Planted Not Buried, which brings me to my next super exciting news. If you guys can see what I'm wearing, um, 
basically that um whole like sermon series i think it was an eight part series it truly changed my life and changed how i look at things and how i perceive things and just my whole mindset i have always really related to sermons and quotes and things like that when they what is the word foreshadow i don't think that's the word i'm looking for but um when they talk about like seeds and planting and growing and things like that for some reason it always like really resonates with me and i think it's just something that's kind of been like a continuous theme in my life and if you guys haven't ever heard um those podcasts or like a sermon based on that or kind of like the teaching based on the seed it's basically that we're all a seed we start out really tiny and in order to grow we have to be planted so when you plant a seed you're normally getting thrown into this big dark hole you're going to have soil put on top of you and everything around you just looks really dark it looks really scary you can't see anything good coming and you're kind of just stuck in this spot and i think a lot of us in life we get stuck in these stages or seasons where we just feel like where is god or you know where is my hope and i just feel like nothing is going right in my life and everything is just really confusing i don't see anything good happening and we all have to remember to just believe and have the faith that everything is going to be okay and then before you know it one day the seed starts to sprout and starts to grow a little bit and you get a little bit more hope and before you know it you're peeking out of the dirt you can see light everything just feels so much better and everything is just getting so much clearer and then before you know it you're fully bloomed into a gorgeous flower and you have your purpose and everything in life and sometimes that stage like keeps happening you for a season you're going to go back down to a dark phase where you're not going to know what's going on but knowing and trusting and hoping in god that everything is going to be okay is what's going to get you through and it's going to keep you growing so that is why i'm so excited about this i've been working on this probably since i want to say like april or may something like that so i made some shirts i have this sweatshirt on right now i also have a t-shirt and it says keep growing and it has the different stages of the flower blooming and growing and for me anytime um i found every anytime i went through something in life i would always get something to remind me to keep growing so i remember in college i was so anxious and i would always say no to going places or no to just anything because i was so anxious so i got a bracelet and i had it engraved with the word yes so anytime i wanted to say no to something i looked at the bracelet and it said yes and i had to keep going so for some reason i just always like to either make something like have a piece of jewelry a shirt or just something like that that just reminds me so this was kind of my reminder to myself and i decided to sell them and i am going to be donating 10 percent of the profits to a charity i have three charities right now that i am really torn between um of which one to go with so i might um maybe like month to month switch up the charities um, or if you guys have any charities in mind that are really amazing, leave them down below because I would love to kind of look into it more. I don't really want to jump to one. I want to really feel like led by God that this is the charity I'm supposed to go with. So I will update you guys once I make the final decision on that. But the links to this will be down below. I think there's like a little bar actually that pops up on the YouTube screen. So you guys don't even have to like click anything. It should have the pictures and stuff already there. So I'm super excited about this and the t-shirts are super cute. You can dress them up or dress them down. And part two of this merch will be coming out in my next stage of life. If you guys catch my drift, um, I actually have all the designs ready for it and I'm so excited. Um, it's going to be on my own website and it's going to be super cute. I am so excited. I don't want to give too much of it away, but you guys, I'm sure, can see what it is. Kind of goes along with this, some of the stuff, and some of it doesn't, but so excited for it. So that rolls into the next topic of, am I pregnant? So, no, I am not pregnant right now. I've been getting this question nonstop, especially because a lot of my Instagram pictures are usually me from the side or me from the back or like my hand has kind of been over my stomach and it's 
it's literally just a coincidence but getting into babies you guys know i really want to be a mom and connor wants to be a dad so bad um so we're kind of just trusting whenever god wants to give us a baby um that that's obviously going to happen his timing is way better than ours so it's not really something we can plan i mean we can try to plan it but at the end of the day it's basically whenever god wants us to have a baby um we probably we both agree that we want two kids um and then we'll see how we feel after that i do have a name if it's a girl and i'm obsessed with a name i'm feeling like because we have a name for a girl we're probably going to end up not having a girl and never getting to use this adorable name but we've had this name for a couple years and we both love it so much it's very different it's very old-fashioned i think it's either from the 30s or 40s um and we do have a couple names for boys but we both like the names that i like he knows people with those names so we're kind of all over the place but I'm very excited for the day that I do have kids. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I've kind of debated on like making videos of the process, not the process, that's a little weird, but like our journey, I guess, of trying to get pregnant and um, documenting like some of the back stuff because I feel like a lot of the times people only document when they actually are pregnant, but they don't always document the struggle of trying to get pregnant. It is difficult to get pregnant. I don't know how people are like, oh, we only did it one time and I magically got pregnant. Like, I don't understand that because <laughs> it's definitely hard. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, I will think about it and possibly do it. I'm not really sure yet um, if I would, but maybe I would. The wedding video. I have gotten so many questions about when is our wedding video coming out. To be completely honest with you guys, I have no clue. Um, our videographer told us at the end of April, it was like April 23rd, he was like, your wedding video for YouTube, because we're having two different ones, one for YouTube, because Connor's face can't be in it, and then one specifically for us, he said the YouTube one would be done in three to four weeks, it's literally been months, and the reason why I haven't contacted um, our videographer to ask him, like, hey, what's up, I trust him, and like, he's not the type of guy that would like scam us, like, we know him, so I'm assuming he's just really busy or maybe he has it and he just forgot to send to us. I have no idea, but there's been a lot of things going on. I don't know how to say this because I don't want to... Oh, this is so hard. I don't know how to say it without um, you guys assuming things, I guess, or making assumptions. So I guess it's like a very sensitive topic and I don't want people making assumptions about this. Um, but there's been a lot going on in our personal lives and we're kind of at this point of our lives right now where there's two paths that we could go down. There is a path where like things would be very easy for us, but things could also be very stressful and it could be kind of scary. And there's another path where I think we would be a lot happier and it would be scary but I don't know how to word it and I know this sounds really weird and really confusing you guys just have to trust me on it but basically the reason why I haven't asked him for the video is because depending on the path that we go down it could potentially change the video if that makes sense like everything's fine with Connor and I it has nothing to do with like our relationship but that that's all I'm gonna say about that I will say though that if we don't get the video in like a month or so i'm definitely going to email him and try to figure out what's going on with it so we go to an assemblies of god church um and that's where we grew up going um that's how we met our families went there and we've just literally known each other our entire lives um and we love our church i think it's awesome we are kind of in this phase of maybe switching over to a different church like the same beliefs and everything like that it's just like a different um church it's a lot younger and the pastor kind of relates things a lot more to life. Like right now, for instance, he has um, a whole sermon series called Relationship Goals and it's very young and I feel like it's very easy to relate to. 
Um, and it's been really good for our marriage. I think it came at like a perfect time. So we might be switching over to that church, but we're so sentimental to our other church because we've been there for so long. Um, but yeah, I love being a wife and being a homemaker. Um, my day normally starts at seven in the morning and doesn't get done till like 10 at night. I feel like I am busy nonstop. I was thinking of filming a um, modern day housewife routine video kind of what like my everyday um life is like so if you guys are interested in that let me know i love it i think if i wasn't actually working it could potentially be a little bit easier i think if you're a stay-at-home mom like your job or stay-at-home wife your job is never easy like there's always so much to get done and there's always a thousand things you could be doing but i think if i wasn't working at all it'd probably be a little bit easier but I love doing what I do and I don't want to stop working so um, yeah a lot of people always ask if I would ever just like quit YouTube and stuff and just be a wife or just be a mom and definitely no. Surprisingly I have grown to love Epcot so much that I think it is my favorite park. I know it's weird because I love Magic Kingdom you can't there's nothing like Magic Kingdom like it's just so amazing and so magical every time i go i cry and i love it um i love hollywood studios because it's very vintage the rides there are my favorite like those are my favorite rides the rock and roller coaster tower of terror are my two favorite rides i cannot go to disney without going on those rides um animal kingdom i'm not a fan of although i haven't been there um i last time i was there was probably like two and a half years ago um, I do think they have some new stuff, but I don't know. It's just not really my favorite. And then Epcot I love because I feel like you get to visit. You literally visit every country, um, but you don't have to fly anywhere, which I like because I don't like to fly. And Connor and I would love to travel, but we both are kind of like eh, on traveling. So I think it's really fun to just get to taste different foods, see different things, and so on and so forth. And I think... He loves it too, it's his favorite spot, so we just have so much fun there together. We want to go to Norway before we have kids. Connor is Norwegian, um, and I have really grown to love Norway since we've been together. We have like these little Norwegian sweaters that are so cute. Um, so I definitely would love to go to Norway. I was thinking we should do it for our baby moon. So depending on when we get pregnant we might do that we really want to go um, to Norway though in the winter so I don't really know if it would line up and everything like that but we'll see I would love to um, have two kids by then I really want to be done with kids by the time I'm 30 so I definitely would love to have two kids hopefully be in our dream home or be on the path to our dream home and I think our job situations I would want to be a little bit different I'm kind of hoping um, and praying that things maybe align up a little bit better with that and yeah I think that's pretty much all that I would want for five to ten years so that is it I try to answer as many questions as possible I feel like this video is already super long so I don't want to make it any longer but I love you guys, um, and if you have any answers to any of the questions that I asked you guys, definitely leave a comment of it down below. I will be doing another baking video this week. I'm really happy you guys are enjoying those. It makes me so happy to know you guys like those, and it's been really fun for me to get back into it. But I love you guys, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!